Hey guys, welcome back to Mass Effect. Uh, I guess we never talked to Trainor or fucking... I guess we didn't talk to Joker at all, actually. Well, we did talk to him a little bit. I always like hearing his, uh... What he has to say on shit. Commander? Commander? I guess that's all you have to say on this matter. Alright, we'll talk to the specialist uh, over here and then... Obviously, I'm gonna probably trade some weapons around. I was not a big fan of the javelin, unfortunately. It, it just had a bit of inconsistencies that I, I couldn't deal with, you know. Commander, come to check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. We're in the middle of a war, Specialist. We've got bigger problems than finding a toothbrush. Understood, Commander. And to be clear, I'm happy to be here. If I can help with the comm system and get you the intel you need to win this war, I'll have done more than I ever did in the lab. Was there anything else? How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure... I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. Oh, GUIs. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth. But they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive. And counting on us. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. Alright, we're gonna go trade our weapons up, because, uh, yeah. Fuck. Alright, um... So, obviously not a fan of this one. Uh, how's this one? Uses a rangefinder to keep the target in proper proportion to the shooter. Useful when the sniper is close into force range. Close range. Its ammunition is both armor piercing and explosive. Alright. Seems new. No, we're not taking the far right sniper, so. What's the deal with this one? Valium might be worth trying. Too bad there's no firing range here. I know there's one on the Citadel, but, you know, whatever. So, I, I, I'm i actually not a huge fan of the concentration stuff, I think. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I've kind of... Uh, also helps aim through smoke. If only there was a way for me to test this out. <laughs> uh, change view. Oh, cool. I don't know, maybe we'll keep it on. This shotgun was okay. I did not mind this shotgun. But it would have been it would have been actually really cool to get like a sawed off shotgun though. Cause this is like this is honestly it's one of the heavier shotguns I've ever seen. Oh wait, this one's apparently extremely accurate, why? Less fire rate? Wait what? Wait, what? What is this? Improving upon the arc pistol's design by generating a sustained current on, a tar on, on its target. Oh. So it's not really that kind of weapon. Okay. Not really what we want, I think. Like I said, I was kind of a fan of having like a really small sawed-off shotgun, but you know. Because I, I kind of like... Here's the thing, I kind of like, uh, as much as I tried the N7 Crusader, we might try it again near the end. 
I really liked having short cooldowns and then like using my abilities uh, more often. It, I because I was able to melee and and do some really funky shit. You know, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, I think the shuriken is what we start with. So maybe we'll try the N7 hurricane now. Yeah, I mean I'm up for this. It has lower accuracy, so it will be like. Uh, uh, maybe we'll try that because maybe we can uh, substitute it with a cloak. Now let's try taking like one of these really accurate high damage pistols as well. Or maybe, maybe we can just remove this and just have the pistol with us. Just saying, that's a possible possibility. I don't know. You know what? Honestly, the SMG doesn't actually add a lot. I feel like we're doing basically the Mass Effect one loadout, though. Okay, fine. Let's try this. Let's try this. Let's go. Let's go all in with all that stuff. Whatever. Um. As I said, I don't want to waste money on upgrades if I don't know what I want, you know? So, it's kind of my justification right now for what I'm doing. I'm still trying out some of the weapons here. Like I said, there is a weapons range which we could try on the Citadel. But, we can't do that right now. So what, what do we do if we want to gas up? That's the question. Alright, here we go. Wreckage. Oh, yay, 200 units of fuel. Alright, well, we're done with this system. Does it actually tell me? Yeah, 100%. Alright. Uh, let's see. Bazin, recover protein artifact. And I'm kind of I, I'm kind of feeling like doing the, the Turian Primark right now, actually. Alright. Oh, there's an actual fuel depot here. I mean, this doesn't tell me anything about war assets, so I guess we'll just start. Alright, pa Pavlin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Turian Age. Uh, Krogan's, uh, they feared because the Krogan's can use the moons as weapons by smashing them into Pal Pavlin's surface. Nice. Holy shit, there's a long, long description here. Fuck, I can still only bring these two along. I, I assume Garrus will be here. But this is actually the reason I want to continue the storyline, because uh, I, want, I want some teammates. See, the thing is, I, you know, I could also do? I could bring along one of these weapons, you know? We could have an actual assault rifle rather than the fucking SMG, but like I said, I'm, I'm willing to try different play styles right now. Uh, alright, so... I did never upgrade their abilities, either. Incinerate. Okay, I, th I think some incinerate would be, uh, would good. Yeah, let's increase the damage. Oh my god, what? Wait, why did her shit reset? Okay, so apparently she's never had her abilities this entire time, so that's good to know. Uh, maybe some warp ammo. Alright, well, mistakes may have been made. Yeah, I'll take that one. Oh, fuck. Getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? 
Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. <laughs> the weapon just clips through my armor. I, let's uh, finish giving them shit. Charge speed and damage. Nah. I'll just give her one point. What does she get here? Oh, power recharge bonus. Sounds pretty good. Uh, I guess stasis would be kind of nice. Not really. Alright, warp ammo. There we go. Headshot damage or ammo capacity. Fuck. And you can't give it to your team, or actually you could have, but I, I didn't have that. Uh, I don't want, really want to give her any more of this. Singularity sounds really nice. All duration or impact radius. I guess radius. Uh, 25 damage per second or increased recharge speed. I guess damage. Alright, that's it. Can't do anything else. Did James have- okay, so James still has his stuff. We're doing some armor, I guess. So he can fucking tank for me. Just trying out my weapons here. Holy shit. Pocket little pew pew again. Alright. Get in, get out. Let's move. Alright. That's a uh, weapon. And they also exploded. So this is not a very good long-range weapon, but I don't think I was ever going to use it as that. That is definitely an explosive weapon. I hear reaper horns. I guess there's nothing else really here. I mean, the SMGs are actually slightly better than they were in the last game. Uh, because he decided not to chase me. If you're looking for command, it's around the corner, past the first barricade. This thing, this thing has three shots before I have to reload it as well, which could be useful. We're that up here? Oh, we actually are. They'd have some that invisible wall shit. Enormous. It's not bigger ones on Earth. A whole lot of them. Thanks, James, for your fucking commentary. Ah, oh, nice, medkit. Ah, oh, easy experience. Dude, I didn't even have to use the- Oh, maybe I did use the experience in the other place. Ah, I don't remember. your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's going to complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. That's a big loss for everyone. Reaper bastards. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? 
With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavant Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Well, I'm not leaving this moon until I know where the new Primarch is. I'll fix your tower. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! Sir, shuttle carrying fighter mechanics has not arrived. Resumed MIA. Well, we did try this sniper, so you know what? There's no reason that I should just try this one out now. Just saying. Alright. Try that out. I mean, I, I'm, I'm actually a fan of this hurricane right now, but... We'll pack Punisher. Let's, let's, let's keep the hurricane on. I mean, honestly, you know what? It would be actually not a bad idea to actually have a pistol, too. But yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's, let's just go with this. Alright. Oh, I like the I like the boom it makes. Uh, gentlemen, like, dude, actual weapons. Mass Effect Two didn't have this. They didn't have actual weapons to try, you know. Sent us winter gear. Uh. What if I want to change my gear? What's this thing? Ah, uh, it's another shotgun. Oh, what kind of shotgun is that? Like I said, there has to be like a sawed-off shotgun, because that would be really fun to use with this kind of loadout. Just saying. So what are we doing? We're going to a tower. Gentlemen, give me the sit rep. Good luck, he says. It's probably a reaper right here. Fuck, I missed. Yeah, you can actually tell this slowdown now. Okay. Fuck, I I'm actually missing these. Alright. What? Oh, this doesn't actually one hit them. Does this not have headshot damage? Fuck. Just trying it out. Probably why the Black Widow is probably the best. So this one seems to have like a lot of shots, but like, yeah. I need some Cerberus to test it on. Hopefully Cerberus is on this planet. We can't repair it from this panel. Oh fuck, James, go. James, you're up for tower repair. On it, might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Thank God we got rid of James. Here they come. Ready, Liara? You bet. Let's take these monsters. Whoops. Fuck. I don't know if this is a projectile, though. Okay, Liara, dude. What the fuck? Whoops. Uh, actually, what happens if I just fire it normally? Uh, nothing, I guess. Alright, the is kind of down, so... Like, this is actually not a bad weapon to have at close range. Uh, except I keep running into rocks. Sounds like a minigun, honestly. Why don't you die up on the comm tower? Wait, was she firing behind her? What did I get hit by? Uh... Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sure about the not having it scoped in. Seems not as worthwhile. Operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palavin Command. 
Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. Fuck, I missed. You can actually kind of see the projectile too, that's the thing. That's how I'm thinking to myself, like... Is that just showing me that I'm missing, or what? But I definitely enjoy the, the lower cooldowns on my abilities here. And like, this one's kind of fun, just for like, basically like, skeet shooting, you know? Okay, I guess the, the downtime on the, the thing is actually not that bad. This the slowdown is pretty good actually. Cause I get to just spam my abilities, which I like. Ah, it's Liara. That was a husk. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palafin Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. Oh, well, I don't want to run down there. Why does the moon have to have so many craters? Fuck. Shepard coming through. Beep beep. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple, but right now the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead or MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus. His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tetris, during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus, that should be something to see. Unconventional thinking might be the only way to save Palavin. And Earth. He'll do whatever it takes. Reminds me of an old human specter I knew. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Fuck, why did James stay? Fuck. Could've had anybody. Alright. 
What does Garrus want? Uh, concussive shot. I remember piercing ammo. That sounds pretty good. Uh, let's give him, like, maximum damage, because apparently that's a meme. Ammo capacity. Headshot damage, sure. Uh, cover penetration. Decrease the effectiveness of, of armored targets by 25%. Uh. Or we just do straight damage, damage bonus. All right, we'll do the, we'll do the damage bonus. All right, what do we get? Turian Rebel? Yeah, boost weapon damage. Yeah. So we're going with fully with a meme here. Assault rifle damage. I think it's an assault rifle. The thing I was supposed to get. Yeah, just gonna raise his damage. Except we can't. Proximity mine. Sure. Whatever. All right, good enough. I'm so invited. I, I remember this thing being a piece of shit, but. Let's see here. Where's the Viper? Did I miss it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, less damage like I thought it would be. Which I'm not a big fan of. This one was the one that was the exploding one, which actually wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Yeah, we'll stay with the Valiant. The Valiant's nice. Maybe we'll switch up our SMG. What's this one do? Fires one armor piercing round per main barrel burst. Yeah, sure, why not? Am I allowed to go to the uh, weapon thing? I think there's somewhere over here. Oh, here it is. Yeah, just use the weapon bench now, you know, casually. Oh, it actually kept me with the, the mod. I kind of I kind of like the sniper for now. We'll see if I stay with it. I mean, obviously when we get the Widow, I'm probably switching to that, but the harpoon gun, I really wasn't a fan of. And I'm sorry if you thought I would like it, but, you know, I, I just didn't like it. It was inconsistent. Where was I supposed to go? Over there. Airfield. Well, that's the thing, is I get to try these weapons out, you know? There we go. This is magazine upgrade. And the shotgun loadout, the only reason I don't like it is because my power recharge rate goes like fucking... Oh, we left James behind. Thank God for that. 